Shadow and Silver 2006. No Sonic <laughs> here. We're done with Sonic. Uh, oh, yeah, so, that's right. Once again, I say this every time. It's been a while. It sure has been. Hello, Jack. Yep. Hello, Saucy. Hello, YouTube. Hello, everybody. Uh, you Hello. might see I have some new things on my PS3 because I have been in the process of uh, dumping all of my games and trying out PS3 emulation recently. And unfortunately, Sonic 2006 is one of the games that is not currently emulatable. You would it's, think it would be a high priority. I mean, a game as poorly designed as Sonic 06 not being emulatable, like, color me shocked. Unironically, though, like, this is probably one of the most streamed console-exclusive games for this generation, right? Well, it's oh, just oh my head. god. Sorry. <laughs> you'd, think it it, is... you'd think it'd be more... What, what games did work and what ones didn't? Surprisingly, Blur is fully supported. And someone's Where's even it? got uh, mod, uh, online going for it. A little Blur bit. is is kind of, is a unique game, so I, I can I imagine people would want to like preserve that game. And it's little like Big Planet Three is not supported yet, not fully. Yet, they're working on it though. One and two are. I was actually considering doing a little Big Planet stream with you at some point. It would be fun. It's just again we have so much to do. Yeah, so much to do. So many long, uh, semi-boring games we have to play through. Speaking of long, semi-boring games, Kingdom Hearts 2 is back on the menu. Oh, boy. Oh, you know what? You know what? And there Kingdom goes Hearts Darian. Bye, Darian. Thanks for joining. <laughs> he saw we were playing Sonic 06, and he's like, nope, I'm No, going. I he is a Kingdom Hearts <laughs> fan. Oh. Uh, you, you know... Maybe, maybe we could try it. Maybe we could play Cult of the Lamb. I heard that was pretty fun. Pretty short, too. Only 17 hours. So I don't think it's possible for us to get through the whole game today. No. We Good have... Enough. We're 72% on Shadow and 17% on Silver. I'm hoping it's... we can get this in two more streams. Uh, Optimistically. Who's the, yeah. who's the jankiest character out of the three? I want to say Silver is the jankiest. Sauce? Mm. Yeah, silver. Mmm, look at that native his, PS3 frame rate. His telekinesis isn't is not utilized well very at all. Darian, did the, I'm gonna ask this? Do the levels sound okay? I tried to be really anal about them before we started. This is also yeah, I was kind of I was kind of worried about. Uh, I wanted to move to emulation as a kind of backup because. I got a new PS3 just for this stream, and uh, it's already kind of starting to. Uh... How much did you pay for it? Hundred bucks. You paid a hundred bucks to get to be streaming Sonic the Six. That is dedication. And for any future PS3 games, I might I might play before I realize. Oh hey, wait. A PS3 actually emulates better than PS2 for some fucking reason. Whoa. <laughs> Like you can, like I don't know, hardware emulation is is, is a tricky thing. Like even the uh, N64, it's even like uh, it's even like as old as that hardware is. People still haven't been able to correctly emulate it 100% to still slow down in certain games and stuff. So. Saucy, do you know where we're going? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're uh, trying okay, to get wait, the Dark wait. Scepter. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me check. Where's oh, that's what's happening. Rouge keeps dying. Uh, I was I thought that was part Oh, that's a weird part of the music. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, she's not having a good time over there. Well, I guess we're going to the Fountain of the Priest. Hold on, Fountain I'm trying to see what it was. Which is a very JRPG sounding location for a postmodern question mark styled game. Okay, so we left the aquatic base. Hold on. I was just looking at a thing because I was I was making a, a thumbnail card for this for my Twitter. Shiny oh, of course, I had to listen to like an entire playlist of stuff. Well, well you're making a thumbnail card. Is that why you were you were asking me what my favorite animal was? Yeah, and then I realized, oh wait, we didn't start Silver Story yet. <laughs> so well, we did. We just didn't get very far. No. How do I throw a coin in? Is this the priest? Okay. 
That's no, because that's oh, a that's, that's a nut. Maybe it's a misnomer. I, I I gotta get up here. I gotta keep that going. Did we already do the archaeologist mission? I don't know. I don't know. Like. I was told to toss a coin into the fountain of the priest. Well, that coin would be better saved for a witcher. Don't do it. There are candle holders use. Light candles? Light. I, I, is this a blaze mission? I don't got I'm that trying. firepower. Oh god, there's so much stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Is there like a, a mission log or anything? They just told you to find the scepter, so... Well, everyone... Uh, all the NPCs I talk to are directing me to this fountain. Why do I never prep before we start doing this? Every time we get lost immediately. This is not the don't kind remember of game what that we deserves last prep. Time. This game does not deserve any kind of preparation. Okay, so we already did that one. See, if I leave and I talk to someone else, they're gonna say, Oh, this way to the Fountain of the Priest. Okay, or just, so no one's gonna talk to me. He's just telling you to go to the Fountain of the Priest. Yes, we already I, I know, I know, Rouge, this game sucks. School's Wait, closed. We all wanted to go to the new city to play. My parents said it's too dangerous. There's a new city, and Eggman is doing stuff there. That blue uh, dot on the map. The shop, I think. Maybe you gotta buy something from them. It's a. Or is that a mission? Policeman. It's Herman. I'm on a boring assignment today. I have to take a test people to see if they have what it takes to be an agent. Oh, it's side mission. You took that test. Oh, I forgot. It's, it's Shadow's a secret agent in this game. Yeah. <laughs> secret agent Shadow. Imagine Austin Powers, but it's Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, no, I, I, I physically can't. Shadow's too serious for the utter silliness that is Austin Powers. That's what would make it great, though. He just doesn't have just a flat expression expression as all this ridiculous shit happens around him. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather see Shadow do like okay. a Sonic. What? Oh, okay. you got you got it. Oh. You're you're supposed to light some torches. Yeah, okay. I got that. How okay. how light? Can how I do, do that? Light? Use your chaos spear. You have to chaos spear at a bunch of torches. Do you know how, how I do that? I think it's jump. <laughs> no, <and the AP. laughs> no. It can't be that hard. I'll just press buttons. Okay. Well, well first right now I'm Superman sixty fouring. Yeah. No! Wow, that was visceral. No. <laughs> that was like he was about to get absorbed by a Kamehameha. <laughs> that was like that scream in uh, in Excel Saga where it was the episode where everybody became Sentai heroes, where he's like firing at the dude littering. Hey. Ah! Still good. Still good. Okay, now Can't try it. They have to load a conversation just to then load the actual whatever else is happening. Can you imagine a Sonic level except it's like set? Because they had so like a Sonic stage that was like, what if it was Legend of Zelda? You're running around Hyrule Field. That was in Lost World, wasn't it? Yes. Um, what about one that's like Sonic stage? All right, is, try to... but, it, but it's Bloodborne. Try to see which which does the Chaos Spear. So we can light the torches. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out, and then we'll go back to the fountain. Just jump and hit B in the air, and I think that's Chaos Spear. Yeah, see, I told you. Alright, now All right. go light the torches. <laughs> this is elaborate. Look, I, I think if there's something I've proved by playing speedrunners with everybody else that one time, is that is that jank is my language. <laughs> Ah! Hooked on a feeling. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, I see why she keeps dying because her pathfinding is utter shit. 
I had that conversation the other day, is that, uh, I play a lot of Dragon Quest Builders too, and most of my residents just kind of get stuck in places, like, I, everyone kind of is stuck on the roof of a castle. There's a way down, they just don't know it. How many games actually have good pathfinding? Um, Command and Conquer uh, has, has, has great pathfinding. I, I know there's a video about, like, how they made it how the devs made it possible. I gotta, I gotta watch it, because I'm sure there's, like, a thing where they're, like, they had good pathfinding, and everybody was like, this is so fucking hard! Hey, you did it. I was about, I was about to say, like, why isn't it working? <laughs> Minecraft, I, it's thing. a low bar, but Minecraft is okay pathfinding. Oh, cool, you got the, uh... Now we can finally stop Phyllis. Phyllis. Or just fill us out, I'll make. It's such a, I love Secret Agent Shadow for some reason. It's like... Okay, 24 accepted Shadow. I, he'd be nicer than Jack Bauer based on that last video you showed me. Oh, yeah. So, Saucy, are you familiar with John Boyce on YouTube? Uh... No. He's a guy who usually does, like, sports uh, breakdowns, but he once did a video about, like, how fucked up the universe of 24 is. And... And it was... Pretty... It was pretty good. I'll check it out. Yeah. It's called... I've, the video is... I think I posted I've, it in the Wickersham Court. I've run out of things to watch now that I've... Now that I've exhausted every eight-hour video essay I can find. <laughs> the, vi the video is called, uh, I Wish Everyone Else Was Dead. Ooh. Yeah. It, it makes sense in context. Uh, you gotta stop. <laughs> Alright, now that we have the thing, we can finally stop. Oh, we gotta go to, yep. the, to Wave the Ocean. Wave Ocean. The you wave gotta go to the... That, that doesn't tell me jack and shit. The, lo the level is somewhere in the, on the map. Okay. Is it in the yeah. ocean? I think it's where you're oh, going right now. Oh, if it's right Wave now? Ocean, then it's like where the, you gotta yeah, do yeah, the yeah, one yeah. dash. Yeah, over there. Do we have Light Dash? Um... We're Shadow. Oh... We have to have it by now, right? There's no one. Well, oh, oh, there's a... Oh, there's a never mind! It doesn't matter! Oh, Who cares? This way. <laughs> no! Oh good, I can't die in the overworld. I find it infinitely funnier when characters that can fly drown in the water. Yeah, acrophobic like, birds. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, imagine, like, you kick Ridley off a pit, and he's just, like, falling, ah! and then just standing above him going, wait, couldn't you fucking fly? Yeah. God, that sounds like the, that sounds like the uh, purpose of the Caleb City sketch, just, like, just, like, when you kick a guy down a pit, but he can fly. I keep hearing Rouge screaming randomly. Rouge can glide. Why is screaming is kind can't... of an overstatement? Like yeah, she can't even say, act the scream. Say. Like she can't Shadow even sound enthused. Shadow What's the better than Rouge? Maybe Rouge is sarcastic. She's like pretending to fall like ah, oh, and then she just flies back up. And that's how like... she. That's how she yells every time she yells in this game. She Jack. just goes ah. Uh... What? Do you remember a game we played with a really like undersold death yell? Was that Jack and Daxter? Where he uh... just kind of falls down and he goes ah. Uh... What are you? T I have no idea how you were meant to dodge that, but okay. Hey, you can I... shoot. Remember? I'm pressing all my buttons. Oh. There. Oh, R1. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, some rings would be nice. You're not getting rings, sorry. You're flying on a really cool glider. That's basically it. I still Special. don't fully understand why there are these chaos creatures here. Because because Mistopheles is, uh, is, is on the prowl. Oh, is that what's going on? Yeah. No, these are Iblis creatures, though. I, I realize. I realize I really like it when people make genres. Like I want to see like a secret agent, like James Bond story, but instead of fighting like multinational terrorists or something, they're fighting like an evil lord. Except it's just James <laughs> Bond. It's like on a Walter <laughs> case. You know, you've got a bond, like a traitorous Bond girl who's like a dark priestess or something. Wow. <laughs> 
he has to escape a death trap, except he's like, except he's a dragon in a pit. That's kind of happens in Kim Possible now and again, because she's just like a secret agent. But See, some so some of her dudes are like a, a, a kung fu magic dude. Oh, uh, oh, I got, I, I'm glad Dalog Wong's still getting work. That was great. Jackie Chan Adventures, Daolon oh. Wong was a great villain because he was just a very blatantly ancient dark wizard walking around modern day San Francisco. Yeah. And he those... didn't give a shit. He would walk into a place and blast magic at people. Yes. <laughs> and then he gets sent to prison and he has to wear an orange jumpsuit except he's still a dark wizard. He, he works in the real... kitchen and he stirs the chili to, to like look at, he, to watch people like a cauldron. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Omega's just on this random island. He's, he's fucking engaging Mistopheles. Is this yeah, the first time came... we've played as him? They said he came yeah. here by himself of his own volition to chase my foot. How did he get here? He can't fly. Oh, he can. He, yes, he can. Look at, those can he? Look at yeah, the he... way he shoots. It, it's like a, it's like a, a pistol with, not with recoil. I don't know if they'd be able to carry him all the way here, though. I'm, I'm going to say this right now. He looks absolutely miserable to play. Yeah. Yeah. He moves too fast. He doesn't feel like a robot. Like, Gamma really? felt like a robot. It's, those, it's, that, it's, that, it's that special alloy they built him with. It's lighter than... than look, uh, look, look at the way his legs move. He just walks like any other Sonic character. I don't remember him being fast, but I, it, he definitely wasn't fun to play when I played this. Yeah, this looks absolutely miserable. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to kill everything. Hey, you. Uh, Xenomorph. Xenomorph? Bang, bang. I mean, it is. It is just a Xenomorph. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Is there an ammo system, or do I just have to, like, cool down after a bit? I don't know, actually. When was the last- think... Wait, did you save when you got the staff? Uh, no. Oh, that's not good. You gotta- you gotta get the staff again. Remember, this game doesn't have autosave. Well, it does, but it's not at points where you think it would autosave it. So my only attack appears to be the square shoot, and I can't tell if anything's hitting or not. Oh, I gotta- I can hold it down. Oh, is it- is it like the, uh... What? <laughs> what? Oh. oh, okay. Something weird happened. What, his body disappeared and it wouldn't come back. It's because of the frame rate. It's <laughs> the frame rate, I guess. Wait, those things explode, <laughs> you know. I'm trying to... He can't, like, can't move for a bit after he shoots. Activate camouflage. I also cannot uh, control the camera barely at all. Oh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Cool rail. This Went, like, so... ten meters. That I mean, this game so is so, so bad and unrealistic. There's a random grind rail on this beach. I, I, that doesn't bother me. The, the uh, words coming out to, like, deliver a free hit, that does bother me. That's always been, like, Mobian architectures, random Hot Wheels tracks all over the place. Yeah, it's That's our head that. cannon. The but games are never going to explain it. Like, sure, it, pro it looks really... <laughs> I will say, it did look particularly ugly in the first uh, Frontiers gameplay trailer. It looked the only really person, the terrible. Only, the only people that can do, like, that can traverse Mobian architecture are Mobians and Tony Hawk. It's, it's, it's Oh, very that'd be great! I want to import a very, Sonic level into Tony Hawk. It's oh. very r slash hostile architecture. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. So I've heard, <laughs> yeah, I've heard people complaining about Sonic Frontiers based on the trailer that it looks very empty and such. I haven't watched yeah. it. <laughs> sorry, oh. He was oh. deposing, I'm sorry. Cool, cool <laughs> worm! <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> Are you gonna break um, those rocks for anyway, me? No, yeah, good, that keep, was keep going. Well, first of all, I don't remember who played it. I think it was IGN, but like, they, for some reason, the people there just don't know how to play games. Apparently, but, uh, 
Aren't they the people who, like, couldn't get past the first half of the first level in the Spongebob game? I think so, yeah. Or, or so, I, 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 don't, I don't know if it was IGN, but I think it was uh, Kotak, Kotaku who... Uh, oh, that's worse. That was oh, a classic tutorial level of Cuphead and basically... Well, because they hired a, a writer to do it, not someone who plays games. Why, why are they writing about video games if they don't play video games? <laughs> It's like the most common hobby in the world. How could you not get someone? Hey, uh, I, 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 I don't know what video games are, but I, all I do know is that this paycheck is pretty good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I that uh, gameplay trailer, I think, I think, I don't remember, uh, has been confirmed to be like a beta build. So like, don't sh okay, I don't like, like it when the people are showing off like beta builds. Just. Just get a game into a presentable state and then release it. You're, you don't want to poison your audience immediately. You're going in circles, though, Rock. I know that. I saw that this was a circle, and so I figured, well, there must be another path in here that I missed or something. Like, yeah, there's this yeah, box. gotta get that open. Uh, yeah, I mean, game advertisement has been a little, a little shaky the past couple of months. It's not just Sonic. Like, uh, what was it? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet didn't get a trailer until like last month. Like a game just like trailer? oh, yeah. Well, a trailer. Period. Like there was just a teaser, and then it was like two months before the game is supposed to release. Still, it's like oh, we don't have a trailer yet. We should probably do something. Hey, I don't uh, know what that did. Do you see the Pokemon that looks like a fucking Mega Man? Oh, he's oh talking yeah, about I the did. one. I you did. Know, oh one. my god, I did. I, it looks like a like, lady covered in armor with sword for arms. I'm not. I'm somebody not actually did like a, a. Somebody actually did like a like an artwork which used um, like a, like that one with Mega Man EXE. Oh my god. Is are there lyrics? Um, unknown. I also have no idea. I have no idea what that switch did or where I'm going. I don't. I don't know. Saucy, yeah, you're the you're one who's supposed to know that. This is why you're here. I didn't beat this game. You what? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I didn't. This is like one of you. This is supposed to be your favorite Sonic game, and you haven't ever beaten it. Because I don't have a PS3 of my own. I had to borrow from people. Oh, cool. I Let's want it. Later, uh, later uh, watch me fly. That'll be fun to see. I want, they should port yeah. this to the to the Switch. They've done it with everything else. Well, no, I was already spoiled on this game completely before I ever bought it. Oh, damn. Just like everyone else in the early 2010s. I've never watched a playthrough. I, I know it was memed about, I've never watched one. I've watched so many. Oh my god. Alright, uh, while, while, while he's, uh, while he's, uh, one Oh, oh, ooh, fine. checkpoint! Progress! Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint! Okay. Alright, never Jack, you should watch the Sonic Frontiers thing and give give us your feedback. What, like now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> give me a sec. Oh, oh man, I still haven't listened to the new songs yet. I want to. From Sonic Frontiers? <laughs> yeah, there's like two new songs that they just dropped for like uh, the 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 general theme and then the ending theme. Did we'll you see, see that? Uh, go on, Jack. I will say this: um, if, if if nothing else, you can, you can expect Sonic games to deliver a really banging soundtrack. I was Hell gonna say, yeah. did you see that video I posted, uh, Saucy, on the music uh, of Sonic R? Mm, I don't know. Where There's did a, you post it? Uh, I think it was in the lore discussion in Wicker All right. or something. There's a... Is it, is it the one shown from 12 days ago? Is that the one? The Sonic Frontiers thing. The Gamescom 2020. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't see that because, like, I've seen so many thumbnails for videos like that. And I'm like, oh, oh my god. Frontiers official overview trailer nine days ago. I'm trying to find the. I guess, I guess I'll find the one that's like the most up to. Uh, How get in car? <laughs> I be. <laughs> Don't just doubt like that when I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Um, B? Yeah, B. Well, the, I'm on PlayStation, there is no B, but this is square, this is That's triangle, circle. circle, X, oops. There's gotta be some button. R1, L1, R2, L2, 
Right stick, left stick. So you gotta be behind it and then try it. Do I need the keys? I don't know what I just did. Whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna watch the trailer now. Well, there's like... Oh, do you mean the story trailer? I don't know. Whatever the thing that people responded to for Sonic Frontiers gameplay was. There's like... Oh, okay. There's like five different things. Do you want to send Jack something to watch? Um, um... Well, I don't know where I would find the original gameplay trailer at this point. YouTube? Hey, right, cool. You beat the level. Your car is just smoking in the background. <laughs> I'm a perfect driver. That's why I got my license. look too bad like it there's one where like specifically like there's a bunch of like rails like in the draw distance that are just in the sky and they look really ugly and weird like they're like it's a chaotic mass of rails in, that's just, just, in the that's just any sonic level though yeah like like if you look at a sonic level from the top down it doesn't look like an actual level it looks like a fucking like weird like roller coaster no my god! You're just fucking shooting him! Omega, calm okay. down! Right, I, gotta, I gotta pay attention again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This only proves you were created to stop shit. Sounds like a the shotgun. Life form. Don't no, it doesn't! No. You may have been programmed by humanity, but what you did to Shadow in the future. That Where's his cool. nose? He, he doesn't have one. That's why he's uh, he's evil. Look at that, he's Eldritch. <laughs> like, is he saying that because he copied Shadow's image? That doesn't prove that. <laughs> that doesn't I, prove I anything. I still don't feel like we've gotten enough of an explanation as to who the hell Omega is by this he's point a robot in Sonic created games. By Eggman. I know that, but we never saw like him wake up in a no. lab. We never saw no, it. not in this, not in this, not or in, in this Heroes movie. even. He just showed up one day. The one that defeats and seals you in the future is me. Yar, why you, har, har. Why, why would you believe anything he says, though? Villains can't lie. That's why they're villains. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But Mephilus is a manipulator. Why would we believe that? <laughs> he, has, he has a high charisma stat. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I know I should believe does, you, does, but I like you so much. Does the game expect us to believe that? Robots believe what you tell them to, not what you want them to. <laughs> Shadow's not the threat. Okay. Shadow is the threat. Okay. I like the sentiment of this scene. It's just predicated on something really stupid. Like, that feels like almost everything in these kinds of Sonic games, is that there's a coherent narrative there. It's just the presentation doesn't let you understand it at all, ever. Works of Shakespeare as uh, as done by MS Paint. I will. We have to entertain the idea that Shadow might still be a villain to you know I'm give not him that anti-hero lo edge. I'm not gonna look you in the eye when I say that though. <laughs> Just so you know that I'm lying. From the what enemies? <laughs> oh, you're watching <laughs> the trailer, Jack. No, no, I'm what destroy the enemies the, the, invading the loading the screen. So we got to go to the desert now. Oh man. Uh, the guy I was talking about earlier was uh, Charles Cornell, 
I've been watching his videos lately. Nice. He's apparently ah. a, a jazz pianist God. who breaks oh, down a lot of the uh, music just... stuff. He That's really likes the downside. Sonic R soundtrack. That's another downside of these loading screens. It's so it's quiet, and it just suddenly explodes in your face. Oh, is that, that Sonic, happened? Sonic R is like <laughs> one of the uh, is like one of like the considered to be a really bad racing game, but the soundtrack goes hard. That's why I say Sonic the Sonic the best part of Sonic games the, is usually like the soundtrack. The soundtrack is good, but I don't I don't think it would be a good racing game soundtrack. I, I don't know. I thought it worked. It worked. Super Sonic Racing. It's fast it's paced, it's lightly electronic. It's a little Euro poppy, but why not? Yeah, it's like you could Initial if, D. If you have Sonic, yeah, Initial D. That's running in the night. Apparently, it was a British singer. Was the lady on the Sonic R soundtrack? Sounds it. Yeah. Oh. Hello. You okay, Shadow? Nope. All oh, right, I'm going to the desert or something. He's yeah, you gone. Well, you, you gotta protect. You gotta protect the uh, the people first. You gotta kill everybody in this. Do I have to? You gotta kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you nope. kill all the people. Daddy, you're too powerful. Everyone you see as you threat. Don't get destroyed. Don't worry, I will kill everyone. Lasers. Oh, there's a desert level next. I don't like <laughs> desert levels, and from the sound of it, Saucy knows something about this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the really bad one. <laughs> Shadow version. I think so. All right, so crossover uh, Sonic levels that would be like really fucking weird, but would probably play really well. Like crossover, some other game. Huh? Crossover like like Sonic uh, stages zones that would take that would be taking place in like other games worlds, but would would be really strange, but also play really well. I so like. A level designed like a Sonic level, but taking place in another game's world. Yes. Like, like, like any like, of them, because they would be designed like a Sonic level. But, like, if, I just, I'm just trying to think of, like, really strange... Like, uh, like Halo Zone or something. Like, Sonic's just running around in, like, the Forerunner architecture. And he has to blow up, like, uh, like, Covenant ships and stuff. Yeah. Oh, God, like, I don't... I would. I want to pick a Psychonauts level, but I don't know which one would be better. <laughs> I could see Sonic. a Jack and Daxter one, Haven City, Sonic run around that. Oh yeah, that would be the city level though. I, like it would be city level except to take place in Jack and Daxter. Ratchet uh, Clank, Honestly, Alien City. Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank would fit a lot better. The Pirate Bay map from Sly Three. It's only for that. Uh. There hasn't been a lot of, I don't, well, not that I remember, but I think there haven't been a lot of piratey levels in Sonic. Hey, cool, you beat him. Good job. Nice. Uh, Hello, Naperman. I haven't played Sonic Rush yet, though, so I might be wrong. A Sonic level Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we left off in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's where that Jack Sparrow, like, betrayed us, killed us, and that we weren't able to pursue Where's after the that. Where's the rub, Tails? Where is it? I am running. Regis. The boss of that <laughs> level would be the Kraken. You know it. Hell yeah. Whoops. Oh, I got one. Oh, no, I don't want to go to the desert. Saucy. Saucy, have you ever heard of Cruelty Squad? No. Oh, God. <laughs> what is it? You gotta look up. Okay, you know what? Uh, it sounds metal as fuck. <laughs> It's so sad, because I got a D-rank. Did Omega just do a little bounce? I d did he? I can't- I, d I looked away for like a second. Trying to find, uh... uh okay, yeah, do you watch Dunky videos, uh, Saucy? Dunky? Video game Dunky? Video game Dunky? Yeah. Sometimes. Alright, he did, he, did, he did one on, uh, on Pulpy Squad, so... Uh, here. I'm right, I think we might have had this conversation before. Oh, is this a Doom clone? No, it's uh, it's more like Deus Ex or like one of those immersive Sims. 
It's what got. Fuck. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a Tom Clancy game. No, it's not a Tom Clancy. It was just a joke Dunkey made. Oh. I've been. That's pretty funny. We've unlocked so, yeah. the desert. A Sonic level t taking place in Cruelty Squad. <laughs> Cruelty Squad. <laughs> <laughs> just with those. Just, you, 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 it looks like that. It just, it just, it just still looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sega remix of like fucking like what? <sighs> oh, I don't remember where the desert gate is. Well, I assume it's not anywhere we can see the ocean, but that's me assuming, you know, logic in a Sonic video game. <laughs> yeah, uh. Just ditch this. If you're not gonna do anything interesting with the open world, just ditch it. Like, There's missions that we're not doing any uh, any of them, but they're there. Here's, here's the thing. I liked the Sonic Adventure world maps, but they were small. <laughs> you know, they weren't confusing and easy to get lost in. There's such a thing uh, these days about people judging video games worth on how many hours you can get from it. Whereas not yeah. determining whether you get, like entertainment per hour. I like, would I, also argue they judge it based on like uh, graphic. Uh, graphics technology. Yeah, like, like, like it has to look hyper realistic and and feel like you're actually sitting in the room. Everything that... has to have extremely specific, very realistic physics. I want to see garbage. the sweat on every player's <laughs> face in NBA 2023. What, what was that tweet I saw where it was literally like, I want to see every individual taste bud on the tongue. It's so bad. They advertise that, and that's most of what they advertise in the sports games, too, is how <laughs> fresh and realistic everything looks now. Oh, Even though God. it kind of looked that way five years ago. And not not to say that that's bad, it's just you. it doesn't need to be in every game. Like, relax. I still like pixel art and stuff. I mean, pixel art is still oh, like, yeah. re like reasonably popular. Fucking I love... Fucking Cruelty uh, Squad is like one of the most bought popular games on Steam, despite it looking like that. Yeah. Chat, y'all got any ideas? Feel free to shout them out. I have right, no okay. ideas. That's I'm why I'm talking I'm, about I'm going, graphics. I'm going back to the. I'm going back to the thing. I I have no idea where we are. I think. Imagine if a Mega I Man remember. battle at Sonic level. Like you're surfing oh, the he's internet. Just running in cyberspace, he looks like a navvy. What would a- that's gotta be fan oh, art, oh Sonic God, the Navi. Oh, Omega- Omega does do a little bounce on the victory screen, that's weird. He can be I called Sonic.exe. Oh, wait, wait. all you had to do was go to the right after talking to the mayor. <laughs> Great, where was the mayor? <laughs> Go back! <laughs> all you had to do was take a right. <laughs> well, we saved, so in theory we could just restart. It'll load us in front of the mayor. It can't possibly be that far away. Zor Zoro uh, Simulator 2006. <laughs> That's a one Ever joke. Everyone in YouTube what? comments is going to be screaming at us. <laughs> I don't like think Rouge. people... Oh my god, we've sullied the honor of uh, Sonic 2006. <laughs> oh, there he is. Go to the right. Go to the right. It's over here. Oh, of course. Really... The desert That's is in this awful. random building. That's all are, we had to do. <laughs> are, people, are, are people actually standing this game? No. No, it's bossy. no, it's just me. No one likes this game. Oh, sure is a desert. This is de a desert. Look at all this open world. He's probably looking for the chaos emerald that's supposed to be there. Look at how open this world is. Okay, what can you do in it? This world is open! Yeah, I know. I was asking, what can you do in it? Omega count. <laughs> Omega count how many sand is here. They look like such Already dolls. Does. <laughs> it looks like like a bad SFM. Because like, the, there's way, the, the fur doesn't move or anything. Okay, it did a little bit there when Shadow ran. But for most yeah. scenes, it's just like the head being rotated around, and that's fucking it. By the way, on like the video that I'm looking at for like the playthrough of Shadow's campaign, that cutscene is the most replayed part of the video for no reason. The, the desert intro? Yeah, yeah, that. That cutscene that just happened. For I don't no know reason. why. 
No reason. I think I think it's because of uh, of Snap Cube's uh, our real time fan dub of this, of this of that game. I can't think of any other explanation, really. There's oh, hey. nothing particularly special about it. It's all Good news, you don't have to try and mount the car this time. Looks Better like news. This is the last level. So. Great. Wait, this is the shadows. Yep. Well, I was supposed oh, to be cool. following pillars, but I didn't see any pillars, so, uh... After this, there is a boss, and then you're done. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay! That's how I drive was, like, temperature. I don't know why this is reminding me of Nier Automata right now. I was thinking Jack 3. I was thinking Star <laughs> Wars. Man. Ta Sonic Tatooine level. <laughs> this this says a, says a lot about society. You were the chosen one, Shadow. <laughs> you're... Sorry, you were, you were my brother, Shadow. Ironically enough, I don't think Shadow would turn to the dark side because I don't I don't picture Shadow killing a whole bunch of tiny Mobian children. From they would be Mobinis. From my point of view, it's the Mobians who are evil. No, Shadow would do that. I. That's the thing is that is that he's a lot of things, but like a like a mass murderer is he's not one of them. He's way too chill for that shit. It's Where funny are you that going? it's funny that you say that because I. <laughs> So I watched Sonic X again recently with yes. my boyfriend. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, so hold on, hold on. So like in season three, like there is an episode where like he hunts down Cosmo the entire time, but in the English version, he they portray him like a sociopathic maniac. Okay. Like, yeah. Every time Tails asks why are you doing this, he says, "I'm not gonna tell you. Now give her over. You can't beat me. I'm That's gonna kill you." As if that makes it more defensible if he's not telling them why. But it's like the whole episode, he's like, he's like getting sick kick out of it. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? It's weird because in the Japanese version, he's just portrayed as like some kind of consummate professional. He's like, I gotta get him. He's, he's very like, silent. He barely no, talks in the Japanese no, it's, version. No, yeah. he's, he's like, he's, he's kind of like, almost like, almost like, I don't know how to describe it. He's like, it's better if you don't know and just... Just close your eyes, I'll make it quick. Just stay still. So I'm like, noticing- all that. But in like the English version, he just sounds fucking psychopath. That's like- I don't know why. Because cause he's like dark, you gotta have an evil clone of like Sonic, so that's- they're leaning into that, despite the fact that, in all honesty, I like- I, I Shadow is like better as like just a dude who's like very stoic. He's not even like evil, he's just stoic. Even like at his worst point is in Sonic 2, he's just like, alright, I guess I'll do this. Remember? My favorite line, my favorite line from that specific episode in English was when Tails is like closing the door and Shadow is like, Do you seriously think a door is gonna stop me, you fucking idiot? <laughs> like... <laughs> oh my Remember god. Remember Maria 2.0? <laughs> it was arguably made, like, worse in English because she doesn't die. She just fucking leaves. Yeah, I was she telling him about abandons everybody. That too. I was telling him about that too. I was like, after we watched that episode, I was like, guess what happens in the English dub? She just leaves. Even though the entire time she still is like, I'm gonna stay. No, let's not leave. I don't want to leave. I'd almost rather she go. She just they say, oh, she went to another dimension. She got sent to another dimension. For it's context, not like her death. There's it's an episode like of Sonic X funny. season three. In which Shadow befriends a girl, and only for in the Japanese version, just for her to die again, is very reminiscent yeah. of the whole story with Maria originally. Yeah. Which I think is for the purpose of him, like, I don't know, because he doesn't have his memories again in season three. So I guess it's just to jog his memory for no reason. Can't let him move past this. Oh, they made Bruce look like such a bitch. <laughs> Sonic X? Yeah, in the in season three, she's like, oh, God, I gotta get away from this guy. I I gotta get right get away so I can get the Chaos Emerald. So he she intentionally triggers his PTSD on purpose so she can leave. <laughs> Is that how that works? Yeah, she like she's like, hey, Chris, remember that uh, remember that Space Colony arc? And then and then she goes, hey Shadow, what was the name of that girl you used to hang out with? Maria? 
and he just starts freaking out and she leaves. Like, she's- she's such a bitch! <laughs> I have like, absolutely is... no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. I don't know either. <laughs> you're doing- you're doing sick, uh, jumps off of the dunes. So I've Listen, noticed the, this, look at this. The end goal so, has to be somewhere. What- what happens is, as long as you're right side up, you are in the realm of physicality, but as soon as you're yeah. upside down, you become a ghost. <laughs> Watch. So follow the pillar. Yeah! It's telling you to follow the pillar, so follow the Well, I the said, pillar. okay, watch. Stop stop podcasting and pay attention. <laughs> I, I saw. I'm following the pillars. Looking for, I don't know, more pillars? Anything? Nope. Have you tried going in directions other than straight stop. from the very stop. beginning? And he said, feel free to offer suggestions, Jack. Here, I'll go stop right. Stop podcasting! <laughs> Okay, uh, you, you're going right too little too late, Zellerog. Well, okay, Mr. Expert. Did... You're going in the same direction and you're expecting shit to change. Then d d guide me. Be, be my navigator. <laughs> you're, did I ever tell you're, you? You're several seconds uh, uh, ahead of me, so I can't accurately okay. guide you. Dim's the brakes, I guess. You blame me for shit and then say, well, I can't do anything. <laughs> Uh, okay, put it another way. Try more than not at all. I assume maybe I'm supposed to kill all these things. Like, to I know, I know. Open a door. If, if something won't open, you have to kill everything. Yes. Yeah, Acting like I'm dumb because I don't know how to play Sonic 0 fucking 6. <laughs> not the game's fault. <laughs> I look, look. You're dealt a bad hand. You don't, you don't, like, yell at the cards. <laughs> oh, there's more of them spawning? I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Can I get off? No, because you you're, you're gonna high. Because you you do not have Elise's, um, anti-sand powers. <laughs> I will say this, uh, Zelrog. Uh, Saucy warns you. <laughs> I can't aim up. <laughs> Don't bring, don't bring me into this! <laughs> no, you said this level sucks and, and, and it's, it and does it sucks it sucks, it sucks ass. It's so I sad. can't aim up and down. I just have to find the right slope to the sand and hope. Let's go. Shadow okay, okay, Shadow okay. the Choir right okay. now because eternally we screaming. Why do they keep spawning? You that one missed! Dead. They keep spawning. Oh they my do. god, you actually have to do this, like, faster. Oh, come on! I was heading towards it because I thought I got all of them! <laughs> you know what, I'll go back to the uh, uh, back to the video. I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Saucy, you, get, get, you, you, you're the Sonic 06 <laughs> expert. You guide them. I'm wasting time not looking at it, really. <laughs> yes, yes, cutscene, I know. Well, you'd think being a hovercraft, you could, like, fly, go up okay, a little bit. Okay, so that's, that's the problem. You, they don't, they, you, there aren't pillars immediately because they spawn as you go towards them. So you have to go to the left at the start of the level. <laughs> so just, just kill yourself and then go to the left. <laughs> I see it's, the pillars. These are the starting pillars. Okay. Hey, cool, we found our way back. We go to the left. We our heels and now we're home. No, not that left. Like, go straight through them. Okay. This is the fastest the camera can rotate. I oh, there are pillars to the left. Wait. So, oh, so no, okay. Zorog is go. gonna, go. 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 gonna do what you tell him to do. He's not going to do what you want him to do. <laughs> I can't expect him to figure it out, you're right. <laughs> okay. Wow, those, to those take a while. Like, if you're going at yeah, speed, they will not even begin to appear by the time you go pa past them. Okay. This is a dumb mechanic. Just, if you're gonna build a wide-open level like just, this, just build a wide, wide-open level like this. What the fuck is the point of doing this shit? Where pillars? Up. Go up. They're pillars. Wee. You can tell they're for shadow because they have eagles on top. <laughs> Oh my god. America. 
This is just... It's just Superman 64 mode with a spear! It's why are they gonna do a level like this if they're gonna force you to go so slow? Because... And I, I, I think I, I think I've been a bit unfair. I feel like I should let you know this game is not very good. You don't say. Gee, gee, Jack. Wait, you are really <laughs> put on the other side of this fucking mess. Why am I riding an Enterprise, by the way? I don't know. Remember when? when because those... it's time to ride. <laughs> hey, Sauce. You remember in uh, in uh... Sonic X? <laughs> Remember in Sonic X when fucking Eggman's robot turned into a fuck the fucking Enterprise? Bang, ba bang, ba ba bang. Yeah. yeah. Dear, okay. Dear, okay. okay. All right. So you weren't supposed to be here yet. We found it. No, we gotta we gotta trigger the arbitrary flags. We get railroaded into the into fucking no. like. Do you really think no. a door will stop me, you idiot? Okay. So like, Zelrog just went directly right to get there, and like the the. Level just wants you to go around for no reason. The Content. door stopped me. Oh hey, God. hey, this level could be beaten in five minutes. No, like it be beaten in ten. We'll double the amount of not gameplay. Even, oh, we're running now. Ah! Oh, thank God, thank God. I don't want to be on that vehicle. Ah, shiny. This game. It is as hard to control as it looks, whipping around like that, by the way. Yeah. I'm your new god now. Worship me. Uh, what was the name of that, um... Uh, try and remember the name of uh, some Gundam anime that has really hilarious out-of-context clips. Oh, Robotech? Gosh. Uh... It's there's that's one where like he tears her invitation in half right in front of oh, everybody. That's wing. That's wing. At, wing. Yeah. Wing. That's a, I, that was the only good <laughs> series I ever really watched through. I want to watch it so bad. It's so funny. Did you just get buried? Amazingly, no. Oh, you can ride the wave. Gun we use the jank to our favor. Gundam Wing is was my first, and uh, and I didn't re I didn't really get like the context. I, it was like too real for me. But literally, I I watched it. I didn't oh know come what was on! Going on. Get up! Get up! Oh, you have to go from the, to the very beginning again. No, no I don't. Just ride the wave. This game's jank does, in fact, work in your favor oh, sometimes. If you think, hey, so hey Saucy, if you think that, that Gundam wing... Here's something that, that's out of context for me. A guy in another Gundam anime was, like, saying how... Telling people how he was going to become a Gundam. Nope. Saucy? We lose her? I think I think we lost her. My internet my internet down. Something about the internet going down. Internet, for her. Yeah. Wall. You gotta kill all the enemies that think. I'm trying! I know you're trying, I'm not giving you shit about that. Oh my god, this is the worst time. <laughs> <laughs> T-Pose flight. Uh, is, your, is your internet okay, Saucy? Um, hold on. I, I like whatever that animation is playing when they die. That doesn't look like it's supposed to play. That's I don't know if I went the right way. Yeah, no, the, uh... Because I sink in sand. Yeah, you're right. Maybe you gotta go around the other way. Uh, oh, you're back in this room. Shit. <laughs> I don't know why. I think. I think. Uh, I think Saucy is uh, is is like fighting off some assassins or something. Oh my god. Oh I can my still god. hear her. Right. 
Is everything okay, Saucy? Does my microphone at least work? I can hear oh, you fine. perfectly clear now. Okay, okay. I don't know why I've... my internet sucks lately. You using Comcast? No, I'm on Spectrum. I'm trying to change it to someone else because it keeps crashing lately. Well, well man, imagine if uh, ISPs didn't... there aren't like only five ISPs around. See? See, this is what I was nervous about happening eventually. <laughs> Alright. So, kill everybody, and then when you're in that sand pit room, go to the left instead of the right, maybe? Did you at least hear my comment about, like, Gundam, Saucy? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, That's it fine. froze. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll repeat it then. Like, it, another out of, like funny out-of-context quote is in another Gundam series, Gundam 00. And, uh, -huh. uh, and it's a guy, one of the main characters, who says, I will become a Gundam! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Yeah, I know, right? Imagine a, that being a plot line in Yu-Gi-Oh! where someone wanted to become a dual master. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to become a dual I bet monster. You, I bet you in one of the spin-offs that's a, that exists at some point. It sounds no, like something that could. That actually did happen. Remember Mana from did the uh, from the Egypt Dark? Well, she did. That wasn't like her goal in life to become a dual monster. Well, she found it out did she happen, was but Dark Magician Girl, and she's like, okay, I am Dark Magician Girl. But how the fuck are you supposed to get through this 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 uh, room? Boy, I would be great if I could at least start at the at the Omega section. Is all this sand just quicksand? No, well, this I can sand Shadow can survive a little bit in the sand. Omega cannot. This sand is fine. The other sand is is not. No, no. See, this sand is okay. That one's not. I know they're the same color, but that one's fine. If only, just replace the sand with lava. Seriously, it, you might as well. Or like, or like something that's obvious, like green no, water. No, it's a desert. We there's no lava in deserts. Or at least try like, have, really or at least have like a haze coming off the sand and like make it instant death as opposed to just. Why are you trying to make this harder? <laughs> Not this room, the other room where. Well, I mean, he's a robot. It kind of it kind of tracks that he wouldn't be able to. Uh... I hate whatever platforming I'm supposed to be doing because uh... I I can't jump I can't make it without the homing attack, but the homing attack sends me too far. Yeah, it's. Which was also the case in the Sonic Adventures, but they kind of, like, planned the platform distances around that? Yeah, they, this is kind of like, you're either gonna undershoot it or overshoot it. Finally, alright. Why does it have to zoom in on Omega's crush? We know why you bought this game. <laughs> we know why you did. <laughs> Fire the See, see, with Omega, there's actually a really tiny Mobini in there, like in Zone of the Enders, where the the, the cockpit was literally in the cock of the uh, robot. Oh man, look at that slow motion, so hype! You think inside there's uh, two Mobinis, one of them like bending full forward, like Darling in the Bronx? Oh god, I have yet to see that, but apparently it's exactly like Evangelion, and I already saw Evangelion, so there's no reason for me to watch it. Oh, Jack, do you know, um, do you know who, uh, the new girl that they introduced in the Frontiers trailers is? Uh, no, I didn't see that part. There's a new, is it Elise Smart too? No, well, she, she's human, but she's like an AI person, I think. Oh, uh. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Cortana? No, 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 hold on. Well, maybe, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, hold on. Let me get her, let me get her Wait, render. Hold that on. That platform wasn't there before? No, was... these came up. I was just, I was worried they were gonna sink because they used the same texture as the platforms in the previous room that went to the wall. This is, okay, this you is a go. new character. Her name is Sage. S Sage. That's, that's, uh, fairly common. Wait, where is, oh, do I have to back out of, okay. Why'd you tell me about for this one, but not all of the previous doors that required that? Somebody misplaced the flag. But yeah, that's the new girl. Oh, jeez. Uh, that... Um... Yeah? 
<laughs> it's, it's just bead. It's just a uh, bead from uh, from fucking uh, sword shield. Except People this. compare compare her to infinite more often, actually. I say a color scheme. You think it's just yeah. infinite? Infinite Mark Two. No. Oh, I did don't. you ever? Did you ever play Sonic Forces? I did, and I hated it. There, a guy did a really good like uh, like uh, this guy to start to snake her. Uh, he did a really good video just judging Sonic Forces. Called oh, man. It, it, it was it's a long if you're looking for long form content. Uh... Yeah, I've been watching nothing but like five hour video essays for like the past two weeks. My brain is like rotted. This time is shorter. Oh my. Like, wait, is this slowdown actively affecting your ability to go forward? I don't think so. I just don't know where I'm going. Let me try up here again. This stuff is more in the line of like uh, one, one and a half hours. Long's one is two and a half, and that was on, uh, or just two, it was on Greedfall, so. He's really good. He finds like like really jank old janky games that he like talks about them. He's also British, so he's got that going for him in terms of voice. Uh. So I don't quite know the plot of Frontiers yet. Nobody does really, but uh, I did make a comic about Sage because I found. I found what she says to Sonic in all the trailers very interesting. What'd she say? She keeps- well, she keeps saying you need to leave. Like- And Sonic's like, no way! Get, no, she's like, you need to get out, you're putting us at risk. And a couple times the trailers and like interviews have confirmed that Sonic is there looking for his friends. So, I made a comic because I, I was like, oh. That's interesting. She's very strange, isn't she? So I'm just gonna post it in chat for you, Jack. Wow, that, that seemed like it was out of the way. <laughs> that fucking area. Oh my god. Silver's version of this 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 hallway is fucking awful. Oh that's right, we're still in shadow. This is yeah. a long level. <laughs> I don't I forgot because we're playing a robot and not shadow. <laughs> Oh, is she inserting herself into all these people's memories? That's what I- that's what I think it is. And I hope I'm right, because that would be awesome. That would actually, uh... This was just an idea I had one, based off of the information that was available at the time. It's that and one after dude. the- Yeah? It's that one dude from Bleach. Yeah! <laughs> that was the bookmark that turned into a sword, he could insert himself into the people's memories. Dumbest and after Bleach the powers. After, like, more yeah. gameplay and cutscene footage has come out, like, it just supports my theory even further that she's probably keeping them here against their will. And she I keeps want... telling Sonic to leave. I just wanted friends. No, he, <laughs> he didn't insert himself into their memories, Jack. He inserted them, himself into the past. He was actually <laughs> there. That's what made it so stupid. No, I thought I I could have sworn that it was just like, oh, I'm, I remember when we were friends. Oh yeah, that's my memories. Yeah, you were there. That because that makes sense. That is actually like I no, he actually inserted himself in the past, but he would have been there and he wouldn't be doing this shit because he would have like. That's why it's so stupid. Here, look look the I character up on I, the bleach bleach wiki. No way. I yes. I don't I don't believe you. I insist. <laughs> I hate drawing Omega, by the way. I hate drawing robots. They're so fucking difficult. What about Metal Sonic? He's easier, because he's already, like... Just a lot he's of not details. A complicated, he's not a complicated robot. I just don't like robots like Omega that, like, have bulky shit and have a bunch of, like, buttons and shit all over them. There's a reason like, there's, like, professional mech designers in Japan. Yeah. They get a lot of like detail. I know. Goes into I know them. why. I just hate having to draw them. It's really infuriating. Are we going to do this, bro? Bro. Got it's me. true power is altering the past of anything is sword cuts. Wait, nice. not just people. Anything. What did you do? I alter. I slashed this house and I altered it to make it nicer. It's like a, a JoJo arc villain power. <laughs> the Fulbright arc was basically JoJo's uh, JoJo Bizarre Adventure. Oh my god. 
<laughs> what does King Crimson do? Wait, how does that work? What does King Crimson do? I don't remember. Uh, that was the part five one. And the what? explanation oh, yeah, is that he erases King time. But yeah, it's just... infamously poorly explained, and no, no one really fully no, understands not... what it does. That's yeah. not... No, that's not what it is. It's, he, he skips. Yeah, He skip doesn't time. erase, he just skips. He what do you mean, it. skips? Like, he's, like, say you're, like, watching a YouTube video, and you push the, like, press 10 seconds ahead button. That's what he does. No, he doesn't, though. He, just, he does, though. He does. No, he doesn't, <laughs> though. Like, explain a situation saying, where you think this applies. are saying yes, and one person is saying it, no. Because you're not thinking about it hard enough. This is a, this is a Zelrog time travel situation. Explain to me a situation that happened with that, and I'll tell you why it doesn't make sense. Okay, it's basically, it's basically... No, a detailed no. situation. Give me a specific scenario, Jack. I will, I will say, I will say the first time he does it bothers me a little bit. But every other time, I don't think it's that bad. The you know one what? I remember is... So there's like a bullet going through a guy, right? And they explain it such that the bullet goes through to the other side, but it going through the guy is a race. Like, it doesn't cause any damage to him, right? Is that not hey, what know, happened? Yes or no? You guys are overthinking it. You know what? No, you're underthinking it. Jack, I, answer I my question. Know. We're going on this trip. No, I just, I only is is that or is that not what happened? <laughs> you're shouting me down. Because you're not I, answering I, my question. You're avoiding I it. I only up, said what? one. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to revise my original, original theory on what King Crimson does. Okay. You, you know what it is? What? It's basically the world, except except with different mechanics. Okay. With what mechanics? <laughs> Explain. Be detailed, okay. please. Yes, the world stops time. King Crimson skips time. The, the res end results are basically the same in that... In that but what movie. do you mean it skips time, Jack? You know how Windows has a certain operating system and fucking Mac has a, has a different kind of, as like a similar operating system except the coding? That fucking... doesn't explain uh, what it does! Uh... It doesn't explain what it does. What I'm saying is that it doesn't fucking matter because the end result of both the world and King Crimson are the same, so why the No, fuck they're not! Matter? They're extremely different! <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I don't care about this platforming okay. shit. I'm brute forcing this sand. All right, all right, everybody calm down. I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna try and logic it out since Jack's explanation is making him mad. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm thinking about it. Um, so yes, he does skip. Uh... And for some- I don't know why, but for All some right. reason the effect that it has is that it skips to the after effect, but anything that happens in the middle does, is cancelled. But, okay, so he erases the, the damage from the bullet, but the bullet still moved from point A to point B. It was in a different position than it started he skipped, in. He skipped to where it would end up. Yeah. Right, so why does that pat? why does that time pass? Why does time pass for the bullet, but not for what it went through? What's the fact determining not, factor? Let me, let me, I'm not you entirely sure. Wikipedia verbatim? I'm not- I'm not the most equipped to explain why, just how it works. Because it doesn't make sense, that's the problem! I'm listening to Jack. Can be to last up to 10 seconds. During this period of race time, only Diablo's remains fully conscious and is the only one who can readjust his actions. Other people will be unable to experience anything that happens and will continue to act as they would have. After the effect of the ability ends, all people other than Diablo will retain no memories of anything that happened during that erase period. After the allotted time frame, people will suddenly find themselves in the aftermath of the situation they were supposed to be in as the action could already be completed. For example, when Fugo asked Jorno for the water bottle that they brought, the water bottle was suddenly in Fugo's hand without Jorno actually, ever actually handing it to him. There is, however, one instance where a person was able to see their double before finding themselves in their future position. Simply put, the time erasure ability removes the cause, but the effect remains. As if you were to fast forward a program, but still know what happened in that allotted time. So it doesn't simply, explain anything. 
So that explains everything perfectly. What the fuck? So it rate so it stops people's consciousness for ten seconds. It it basically prevents them from acting, but it allows the 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 after effect to happen despite the fact that the effect that they were going to do hadn't been started. What effect? It forces it forces the the effect to happen despite the fact that the that the cause hadn't actually happened yet. What? So his sim simples. his stand I've, I've, is that he he can manipulate or he can skip ahead and he's the only one unaffected. Is what do you what mean skip ahead? <laughs> okay, so why are you confused? With that? Because you're you not confused? explaining it properly. <laughs> skip ahead. So that would be what I said. Everyone's consciousness stops for ten seconds, except for his, yes. right? Yes. You are you in a roundabout way? You are right. Are you done? Are you gonna? Are you? Can you calm down now? <laughs> I don't know. Are you calm, Jack? I'm. I'm gonna calm down because if I don't, I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> the, only, the only time I was ever really frustrated was when you were you were yelling at me to explain what it was. I was trying, and you kept on interrupting me, going, "Explain what it was." Because you weren't explaining it. Maniac. You were just repeating work? the same non-explanation. <laughs> What the fuck? But I can't wait for us to play that uh, that new JoJo game and repeat this entire conversation. Oh boy. I was tempted to text my dad and be like, Hey, can you explain King Crimson? Because I don't know how. He'll just talk about the band, probably. <laughs> I I should probably do something with my JoJo OC at some point. These swings are awful, by the way. They don't swing you up at all. Oh, you died. Yeah, what the- Oh, yeah, you're I, back here. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why that wasn't working. Like, that's clearly what you're supposed to do, isn't it? It's just, I'm not getting any hype from it. That's weird. You have to land in the middle of, like, that red thing that pops up. That's what I was thought I was doing. It was like a, a meter that told you when to press the button. Jesus, this game, the gameplay is not good. If there's one thing I'm not going to defend, it's the gameplay. Crimson is basically just fucking the world, except with additional convoluted stuff. Jack, Jack, if we keep doing this... It's just no, gonna get worse, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, I'm, no I'm, I'm not yelling at Zelda right now, I'm yelling at a Rocky. Because, because for like how much people give him a bad rap, his like his ability, him, him the way he wrote King Crimson is just people are fucking arguing about what it does. That's not the sign of good writing. If people are like going like if people are this confused, I don't know. I don't take the fan bases too seriously because they insist that he forgot about a plot point that he says was never even supposed to be part of the story. Then why was it in the story in the first place is why that, that question comes up. No, out. it wasn't in the story. People just assumed that no, there it There are a lot of those cases, though. It's not one Iraqi forgot. It's a hundred Iraqi forgot. No, it's... Okay, let me clarify what I'm talking about. Because it's, the, it's the thing where, like, um... I think his name's Joe Skate. Where, like, People yeah, thought that like he like he no part four. Just let her finish. Okay. Uh, where he, where he, where the people were like, oh, uh, he clearly traveled back in time to save himself, and a and, and people are like, oh, Rocky forgot about that, and then Rocky goes, no, that was never part of the intention. Oh my God, a guy with a pompadour in the eighties saved somebody. Yeah. Clearly, it's only the one person. Yeah, like, and yeah, people no, are like, oh, Rocky forgot. I like, I don't take him seriously just for that. <laughs> like, I I, come on. I don't know anything about that. I was thinking more of the uh, invisible baby that just happened and never ever came up again. Oh yeah. There's a that lot is. of stuff like that that just it seems like it's going to be plot relevant and then it just is completely ignored forever. I don't even get think. Get over there now. I don't, I don't even think you think can get over there. You can. Oh, you can. It, they respawn. Fuck. <laughs> that stance is just so funny to me. I, well, I'm not gonna defend Araki's like uh, his quality of writing is, 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 is just that is just that uh, 
the stuff he writes about is so insane, it's entertaining. I don't like... See, the thing is, is that, like, at this point, I'm just glad he's not going back to the some of the part three brand of humor with all the oh, poop yeah. stuff. With all the poop stuff. I didn't enjoy that, Iraqi. I don't know what the hell was going on in your brain when you wrote that, but I'd never do that again. Was it, was it the 90s that was when part three was out? I don't know that it was necessarily about humor. Oh, thank God. It's it's uh, it's over. We can move on from this... You know why we were talking about Jojo a lot? Because this whole level <laughs> is a desert and it reminds us of Egypt. Walking because this Egyptian. whole level is... is No, it reminds us of Part 3 because it's a desert and it's awful. <laughs> yeah. Yare, yare, does, eh? <laughs> we were, But why were we talking about the Italian part? <laughs> Oh, you know that famous Italian desert. <laughs> People try and drive. We were in speed like fake Italy. Italy. <laughs> like the hub world is fake Venice, right? Yeah, it is basically. Okay, if it's Sonic had a Venice. stand, what would Sonic's stand be? And, and name it. The world. No. <laughs> would he actually have? No, the world? that would be Shadow Stand. I guess. Shadow yeah, stand he is does more do teleporting. Like he does also have like a time stop thing he does, kinda. I'm not surprised. They're bobbleheads. But there's still time for you to change your mind. Join me, Shadow. What it let us teach this world a lesson and rewrite the future. Mephiles basics and math and education. What? What? Congratulations, you got all seven Chaos Emeralds. Now all you need to do is... Yeah, while well, you still can! I still stand by the fact that Mephilus is the best Sonic villain we've ever gotten. That's Eggman, though. He's no. classic. No. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> Goofy Eggman is, is very entertaining. He just... Because he matches Sonic's, like, wackadoo energy. Sonic Adventure 2 Eggman is a close second for me. Sonic X Eggman. He's halfway is between the best. menacing and goofy, and I love it. Sonic X Eggman looked at everybody attacking his tower and he laughed. He's like, oh, this is not good. <laughs> Sonic X Eggman is funny. Sonic X Eggman is great. I think my favorite one is when Bruce is like asking him questions about where he found Shadow, like in the season three finale. She's like, where'd you find him? Like, what, what were you planning to do with him? And Eggman just says nothing for a second and he goes, you have huge tits. And then walks away. He doesn't respond to the question. Shadow is his, is his actual son. He took uh, Sonic's jeans, jeans and like mixed it with his, and that's Shadow. <laughs> okay, so we fight now. I can't attack why him directly. Is, I don't remember what he, I do. Why does he laugh like a witch? <laughs> Give me a moment. I got. I, I. I. I have a theory about that. Let me. Let me check something. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> how you spell is this? Mephilus. Oh. I would love if the Memphis, Tennessee article on Wikipedia has at the bottom list of related articles Mephilus. <laughs> Sonic Six. But right. it's, I seemed to recoil, so I guess that was good. Alright, hold on. I don't know how you beat this boss. Yeah, right in the face. Ow, my eye! What a dick. Okay, my theory's busted. I thought that the Japanese, they did the same thing as they did with that one pet in, uh, in that one anime where they just made him higher pitched. Oh my god. And like, in Japan, and they made him lower pitched in English. Uh, have you seen, uh, the Madoka Magica Rebellion movie? No, I, I haven't. I, uh, oh my god. I, I there's a like character, the there's a yeah. character in that movie, I won't say who it is or what, but, like, for some reason in the English dub, they did not dub her, despite the fact that later she has an English voice anyway. So I don't understand why... Yeah, I'm, 
the reverse pirate robot. Yeah, it's really weird. Like, I don't get it. I can't say, like, I can't say specifics, but, like, it's just so weird how, like, they just, they were like, we can't top this performance, let's just not bother. And then later they forgot. <laughs> how, uh, do you know about, like, uh, how much Dragon Ball did you watch? Uh, I watched up to, I only watched Z. Okay. Um, I want to yeah. try and get to Dragon Ball at some point. Okay, so, and so I watched the show where, uh, they battle for galaxies or whatever in a tournament oh, sure. but i but i yeah but i gave up halfway through because i i can't stand it okay so uh so in the uh, in dragon ball classic um that at one point they're finding the dragon balls again it was, it's the red ribbon army saga so uh -huh. they, they infiltrate this uh, this abandoned pirate base and they come across this robot and in the japanese version the robot just stares at them and makes no like noises it looks kind of like a like a xenomorph it is the first Dragon Ball Xenomorph, is the pirate robot. Yeah, it, it had that like similar aesthetic, except it was gold, had cross, small crossbones. In the Japanese version, it says nothing, right? But apparently the American version, they're like, well, it's not piratey enough. So in the dub only, they fucking add like like a robot voice to say stuff like, R, matey, and shiver me tempers. Anytime there's a <laughs> moment of silence, they can fit it in. Yeah. That reminds me of the Hamtaro thing where, like, there's an episode that's clearly in feudal Japan, but they act like everyone is a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> what, By the way, why was, was... There was an abridged version where, like, every so often, like, they would be about to say something and it would be replaced with, like, some weird American colloquialism. <laughs> where, like... <laughs> Where, where's the video? I gotta find it. So this doesn't appear to be doing anything. Yeah. And um, I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, you wanna, you wanna I'll look, look it up, up like... I'll look it up in a second. I'm hitting their eye, they're recoiling, they're being destroyed, and then they just come back. I'm collecting something. Oh, they're, oh. oh I don't, you, you have to do the chaos? Like, I, you have to do the special move? I guess. Yeah, I did it, and then Mef Memphis came out. Okay, I got a hit on him. Just one. Cool. Wh whatever you whatever you did, do it again. So I can only hit him while in chaos mode. Oh, did you figure it out? Yeah. Yeah, he, he figured it out. He, he needs to do, okay. like, a super mode. I, here, Jack. The, like, this is the abridged version, but, like, this is, like, basically what, what they did in the American... <laughs> It's really funny. Alright, let me... You tell him. There's one where they make a reference to George Washington eating a horse. <laughs> I, I guess I won. Yay, we beat it! That's it. <laughs> this is Hamtaro abridged. This isn't an official dub. No, I know, but it, that's oh, bit, like... That's fake, fake, fun fake news. They lost subtitles. They, they, I've seen the actual episode, like the official one. It's basically that. Oh uh, yeah. But like, it's really funny. <laughs> By the way, why was Hamtaro on Toonami? Because anime. I don't know. All anime is the same. There's just nowhere else that they aired. An I guess they could have, because like, Pokemon wasn't on Toonami. Yeah. I guess they figured Hamtaro was more Japanese than Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it's a slice, it's basically an animal slice of life show, so yeah, there's nothing more Japanese than a, than a slice of life show. Oh, we okay, beat it. Okay, well, we finished Shadow, yeah. Finally. You unlocked his music. You unlocked his, his mixtape. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's right. We beat Shadow, so now we, we listen to his theme. It's all Limp his Biscuit mix... and Corn. Yeah, his his theme, which is the only Crush 40 song I don't like. Well, why not? But don't you want to hail? It doesn't no. sound good. It just doesn't sound good. Am I the only one who kind of likes All Hail Shadow? I guess so. <laughs> no, I, I don't dislike it. I just think it's funny. I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't like it. The name and the chorus make no sense, because he's not, like, a supervillain trying to rule the world or anything. 
Uh, it's a catchy song, though. I'd love for there to be... I'd love for there... I, I, what was I gonna say? I would love for there to be, like, a, uh... Okay, sure, that makes sense. <laughs> what? What? Power of King Crimson. What, eight, ten years ago? What? He Going means that, now? like... He means that he can't do that again because Mephilus is way more powerful right now. But he, we just beat him. What's this ten years ago? Because ten years ago you went back in the past and sealed him away because he wasn't strong enough to stop you. Oh. I don't like how uneven that tracking is. <laughs> He's a villain. It's not supposed to be satisfying. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> But maybe this I'm would make more make sense. Unsatisfying compilations. Oh, maybe God. this would make more sense if I watched all the cutscenes in one day in order. I don't think it would make that much more sense. It's funny how his mouth moves like this in in like this kind of cutscene, but like it doesn't move at all in other cutscenes. Why did they even make do the effort of like making him have? You're right. I think they're doing the Kingdom Hearts thing, where only some cutscenes are actually finished. Yeah. Or, you know, some are rendered and some are in the game engine. I believe all the... I believe that both the opening and closing cutscenes of every campaign was supposed to be in the CG pre-rendered thing, but it didn't, so they had to have S. This is pre-rendered, but the ones that are rendered in the game engine, you can tell That's how the very story ends. Just... Well, it's half and half. Kind of, oh, oh yeah, turn that shit up! <laughs> no! No! I hate it! It's the worst yeah, song. It. Oh, thank oh, God! <laughs> you skipped it Heroes right Heroes rise the again! Part. <laughs> Destroy anybody that isn't your friend. That's close enough. Why? Paraphrasing a little bit. I hate this. All right, silver time. <laughs> Where there's silver nothing time. left to lose. Boy, wouldn't it be so fitting if we had figured out emulation and we got it to to work for like the future character? That'd be great. Alas. Why silver. does everything suddenly look so nice? Silver, the character with the most sympathetic story. Yeah, I like, I like, uh, I wish they gave his canon voice was, like, the, uh, the really, uh, like, Moe voice that Snapcube gave him. Because <laughs> that oh, actually was... Okay. The, the Morty voice. Silver, That's Silver, scowl. we gotta, we gotta save the future, Silver. Oh, I don't know, Blaze. What is that? I was gonna say, is that, like, Blaze Rick? <laughs> <laughs> silver, you gotta use your second power, Silver. To ah! hundred years, oh, blazing silver, blazing silver dot com. Hundred years. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh no, it's evil Silver. We gotta run. What? I will say the one thing I don't like about Silver's story is how shoved aside Blaze is in the entire thing. I don't know. You're playing as her right now, so. Yeah, and this will be probably the last time <laughs> ever. So, this game advertised, like, three stories, which means three player characters. But how many player characters are there? There's, like, Knuckles, Tails, Sonic. In what game? In this game. In, in oh. this game. Yeah, there's, well, like, the third player Silver, character in Silver's Silver. is Amy. Amy. Oh, my God. So, it's actually, like, three groups of three three playable characters. Oh, Sonic Heroes. Oh, wait, no, well, no, it's almost it's almost Sonic Heroes, but Silver's is like a really awkward like combination. <laughs> I mean, so was Team Rose kinda. What's Big doing here? I don't know, we needed a third. Yeah. Like, I'm friends with everybody. Ow! What if what if he just like get to play like uh not plays, uh what took Big the cat and just had uh John St. John do his fucking different voice. John, John has his work. John has said he hates doing that voice. Which the one? pick the cat voice. Yeah. He hated doing Why that. am I spinning? Why? Okay, I 
Why am I spinning? I, c I couldn't turn it off. I'm trying to figure yes, out how know, I did it. the signature move, spin. Jade, stop this crazy thing. Treat me like a goddess. Okay, so she has a double jump. She actually plays more interesting than uh, the other characters do. Probably because she doesn't, like, shoot forward every time you fucking, uh, like, do a homing attack. Or do the double jump. Hey, uh, Zark, have you played, uh, Sonic Mania at all? I haven't. It's very good. Yeah, if you, it, it's like... It's I've like, heard that, but I'm not a huge fan of the Genesis Sonics, so... Yeah. Right. I have played it. I didn't beat it, though. Because I'm not good at retro games. <laughs> well, you're not good at some retro games. I don't think you're... Have you... Have you, you didn't play, uh, Mario Classic at all? I did, but I didn't beat any of them because I'm bad at retro games. Well, you know how you get better at your game? You just play them until, until you, uh, you master it. See, see, I'm sure that would work if, you know, I didn't procrastinate on everything I do. I, I feel like you're supposed to beat them to look <laughs> that, but you just, like, are like, no, fuck that. I just want to get <laughs> That was an era where games had hours added by being difficult as shit. I don't know. I, that's different than just, like, having, having empty hours. It's like empty hours versus difficult hours. I would prefer one over the other, honestly. I, I guess if we're talking about lesser of two evils. Well, then there's also a difficulty level. If you want like a casual experience, you just like set it to one thing. But I wasn't oh, saying wow. it was good or bad. I was just stating a historical fact. That's how they got people to feel like they got their no! money's worth out of a game. No, please break dance. I guess it depends on the on like the kind of difficulty. If uh, if a game is like, hey, cool, yay, ranked it. If a game is, like, difficult because it's badly designed versus a game that's well-designed but just has, like, has, like, a lot of stuff it asks you to do with the good design. Like, this game is difficult because it's it's designed like shit. In, in, in the case of NES games, it was usually just because you had to start from the beginning over and over again. Yeah, I, I, feel, like, I feel like if you were able to save in between sessions, that would kind of mitigate the difficulty. I mean, I guess that's what the warp stuff was there for. If you didn't want to like beat it, like, uh, like from the very beginning. What? And that was Are also part again? of the design. Is it because Blaze and Silver are separated? The they were full of secret stuff, like hidden blocks and such, that would attempt to yeah, give you new stuff to find each time you played. Hey. Oh God! It's an initiation. It's Every new hedgehog needs to be mistaken He's for Sonic by his Amy. He's groin. <laughs> She had her hand right what? on Should she smack him? <laughs> uh, I'm... Huh? Hey, I'm ma please don't... Please don't assault me. <laughs> you must have run off. I'm sorry. Did you miss someone because of me? Lady yes, now get everyone. out of here. It's okay. I'm sure the guy I'm looking for is still on the island. I'm sure I can still find him. Well, then I'll help you. He sounds like what? Cat Noir. Yeah, Really? He's that kind of voice. Just that, that innocent pretty boy kind of voice. That's funny because I believe uh, Adrian's voice is Bryce Pappenbrook, who does Silver currently, but did not do him in this game. Yeah, he does those kinds of characters. Currently, Silver's still around? But this isn't Bryce. Oh yeah, Silver I comes back. I don't remember who he is. I'd say it was the same voice, just a similar kind of voice. I kind of miss Bryce this actor. I think he sounds better. Is Bryce also Aaron Yeager? I think he is. I think he's every edgy protagonist in anime. Oh, that guy got typecast as that. That's yeah, sucks. yeah. <laughs> that that's, it really well, sucks. Not not if he's. I I wouldn't describe Cat Noir as edgy. Then again, that's not anime. No, so. but I mean, like in anime dubs, he always gets cast as the angsty protagonist. He's the new Sasuke. Kirito, the new Yuri Lowenthal. Uh, Aaron. Oh, he had to voice Kirito? Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I, I me, heard nothing but, like, walls from the Sword Art Online series. Let me see. Yeah, yeah so he was Aaron, he was Kirito. Uh, he was Melodious. Me oh, Meliodas. Like, from okay, so that's not, a, 
That's not an edgy protagonist. Oh, he's that's... not edgy? I haven't seen it. I just... <laughs> I've seen, like, a couple episodes. He seems like a pretty laid-back dude. Yeah, a bit, a bit molesty, but, uh... <laughs> a bit molesty! That's okay, just 2020 yeah. anime. Oh, no. Yeah, there's no reason for that anymore. I don't, I don't <laughs> like, like that. It's I hope they like, don't do that to I will Taru say I'm the... getting tired of it in anime. It's not funny. It's no, become... It's, it's a thing with modern anime. That didn't used to well, be the case. Well, I more have a problem with it when it comes before, after, or during a serious tone scene. Even more. I don't like that. Except I had that problem awful. with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. No one sees it but me. That show had awful comedic timing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was saying that I hope they don't do that with Ataru in the... Ursi Atsura is getting a remake. And he already had that kind of... You know, he's, he's that kind of dirty Master Roshi oh. character. But he, was, he never he just was... outright grabs people. And yeah, I hope I they don't do that, that because modern anime has started doing that. Bryce was oh, also uh, Rin from Blue Exorcist. I can't wait for them to... He's definitely edgy. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna dub it and Bryce Pappenbrook is gonna be Ataru. Oh, he has been in Naruto, though. Who is he in Naruto? Muku? I don't know who that is. Oh, this is a movie. Okay. Where's the show? I mean, I'm not surprised almost every actor has been pulled into Naruto. <laughs> Amy, please, do you have to... It's such a compressed-sounding yell when she does it. <laughs> Wait a bit. Oh, we're going to the desert again. Great! It's the desert stream. Who did voice Silver in this? Let me look that up. I don't remember his name at all. This was the Four Kids, which is NYAV Post. Oh, I know, but Silver didn't make it into the show. Quentin <sighs> Flynn. That, okay, yep. So Quentin Wait. Flynn is Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. And he's also Cone, the little lion fella from Bleach. Is that correct? Let me go back. No, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Oh, uh, the one in this game is Pete Capella. I feel like I've looked him up recently. Pete Capella was in 5Ds as Dexter, and in Duel Monsters as Shane Jordan. So he, do he doesn't have a lot of a resume, actually. He's only known for voicing Silver. Was he in jo any JoJo? No, there's like five things on this page, and most of them are Silver. <laughs> It's, it's just Yu-Gi-Oh and Silver, that's it. Okay, we got we gotta track down the mayor. And we heard something about gondolas. Oh god, now I gotta look for Silver's- okay. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, Amy. Oh, I see Shiny. So our, our next clue is gondolas. No! Okay, that sounds great! <laughs> okay. There was really no reason for him to shout that. Shadow and uh, Silver, but they have the dynamic of abridged Vegeta and Trunks. <laughs> I do headcanon that Shadow is his dad. Because there's no proof that he's age that he's not ageless. There's the shiny. Gondolas. Okay, so you do need to find Lord Regis somewhere. I talked to the lady in front of his office, and she mentioned the gondolas, or the, the river boats. I'm waiting for this. <laughs> Even on two times speed, this isn't fast enough. Are you watching a video? Yeah. Okay, you have to... Okay, you talk to an old lady, right? Yeah. There's a guy in a top hat behind her that you have to do a mission for.
Man, this gameplay is great. <laughs> you need a pass to go to the desert. Gotta find Lord Regis. There's an old lady somewhere. 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 I don't know. This map is confusing. I think she's like all the way in the back of the map. What color is her icon? Uh, let me check. She is orange, and she there's a dog next to her, apparently. You still there, Jack? Like, we might have lost Jack. Uh-oh. Maybe his microphone no, no, stopped I'm working. Here. I oh, just... thank god! <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I, I had to mute it and uh, step away for a second. I'm back now. I sent you a message about it, but I, I remembered, oh, you got ops, so... So, it, once it's on streaming mode, it's not gonna show you messages I sent you, so... No, you're on your own. No. I'm from the uh, future. This isn't my town. This town's doomed anyway. It doesn't matter what I do. I think you have to go... to the other side. I don't know what direction anything is, so I can't say coordinates like northeast. Amy feels so incidental to almost every Sonic plot she's in. Okay, I'll come with you, Mr. Silver. I've got nothing that's better to do. Why, that's probably why I don't like her all that much. Because she doesn't do anything? Well, other than the fact that, like, I find her personally annoying. Like, if you were to rewrite Amy... I like her character design. She's a cute care. It's just her personality sucks. Yeah, if you were to rewrite Amy to be better, what would, what would be a couple of changes? And keep in mind, you can't totally, like... Like, change her from the ground up. You can just tweak her a little bit. Uh, tweak her. Okay, well, I'd put... I'd give her back her tarot cards that she had before. Oh, that's that's good. That's a good choice. And I would give her a fucking... Uh... Like... I don't know. I just want her to, like, want... Like, have a personality outside of Sonic. I do It's... Uh, it's all she cares about. It's really Sonic annoying. Sonic X, she actually was, like, slightly badass, and, like, of course, yeah. like, we gotta find a way to, like, get out of this cage, and Amy just destroyed the cage, and was like, I'm sorry, what, what were you saying? You mean she, she actually was, like, did stuff? She better. Yeah. Yeah. She was, like, way better. I think the but, reason like, why you hate Amy is why, why a lot of people hated Sakura and Naruto. Just nothing but talking about no, Sasuke go, go, all the time? Go over, go over the bridge. Go over the bridge. You're going the right way. Like if if uh, so it's like if Sakura constantly talked about Naruto instead of Sasuke, you'd have Amy. I found Hinata kind of annoying there early she on. Is. Okay, so you have to talk to the guy. Wait, did she just her. fall through the ground? Wow, no! She's fuck. I can't believe Amy is fucking <laughs> dead. <laughs> She's dead. Oh go to, no. Go to Go talk to the guy behind Silver. Silver's like, oh, 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 I better just walk away. <laughs> she won't see respond! It. She won't respond! Oh my god! We this did it, like we killed her. <laughs> so, this uh, welcome... is like... This is amazing! So, uh, welcome to the creepypasta section of, uh, <laughs> of the stream. Her corpse just keeps getting dragged around the map. <laughs> this is like when I found out you can kill Carmelita Slide. You know, I'll bet Amy would have had room to grow if, like, the Sonic relationship was allowed to develop at all, ever. Yeah. It's one of those cases where the characters are just kind of conceived to be one-dimensional. I won't blame I... writers for that, because Sega has mandated that they're not allowed to do that. Which doesn't least... really work if you want to have a story-centric series like Sonic. Yeah. Sega mandates are really awful, in general. They don't... Like, Sega, I don't know if Jack or you know about this, but Sega has has mandated that Team Dark are not friends. You can't portray them as friends. You can't allow them to be friends? No. That's what Sega said. And Ian Flynn was like, oh my god, this- I hate this. <laughs> because why not? Why can't they be friends? In pro wrestling, I mean, even in pro wrestling, like, heels are allowed to be friends with each other. It's so counterintuitive. I don't understand their mandates. 
at all. I don't think it's counterintuitive. The whole idea is that they're supposed to be just like freelance agents who happen to be working towards a common goal at the time. Well, they can't even be buddy buddy sometimes. They can't like sit in a bar and drink and be like, man, that mission. I don't you. I'd argue working together constantly under, like, especially because they're, like, military agents, like, you'd make, you'd make friends with those people. No, my, I this... my problem isn't that they're not allowed to be friends, my problem is that they are working together constantly. We don't need yeah. to reuse the characters so much. Yeah. I'd I like it kidding. better that they're not friends and they only appear once in a blue moon. I've also that been, like... Not... Now, when they say that they're not allowed to be friends, does that mean that they're, like, just... That they just can't like compliment each other, respect each other. They I don't like, remember what exactly. Of, like, camaraderie. I don't remember what exactly the mandate was. Just that like it's just generally like they they're not friends, and it's really weird. Just they weren't friends but, like, in Sonic X either. They were agents working towards a common goal. Well, that's that's evident by the way Rouge treats Shadow. Honestly. <laughs> You have that, big that, boobs! That, that that Rouge will trigger Shadow's PTSD just to get at a Chaos Emerald. I like that! That's funny! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just that, saying, yeah. like, yeah, no shit, they're not friends and ex. I wouldn't want to be friends with her either. If you're friends with Rouge, you know it. It's weird how, how you intended Shadow to be, like, the dark part, counterpart, and yet somehow Rouge is the most villainous out of the three it's of them. It's the most vicious person ever like, in she's the whole the cast! Like, if you want to see it, look at it objectively, she's the worst. Yeah. I, I like, don't know about that. Shadow! Like, compared to Eggman? No, out of the three of uh, three members of Team Dark, like uh, if we're, we're counting Team yeah. Dark as the okay. Shadow, Omega Rouge, wasn't and Omega hasn't Omega. done anything, so Omega wasn't an yeah. X, so he, <laughs> Eggman was the closest thing. Hello, Ryan, Ryax, NB. Welcome back. We finally finished the Shadow story. <laughs> Town is saved. Great. Why is the death great? I'll grab my stuff. <laughs> it's oh that kind God. of voice. There's anyway, no time. Your psychic powers will be enough. Why is the desert like the most guarded gate from the city? Do we got to keep the Gerudo out? Okay, you can go straight to the desert level from here. Wait, and we know where it's at this time. Yeah. I'm only saying it because nobody tells you afterwards. Like that's where that's to go. where the open world comes in. You got to explore. Got to walk across the entire world to find the one place you need to go. It's in the same place it was last time, I so know. at least they don't move around. Can you imagine if they moved the levels around? <laughs> it would be impossible to find anything. I didn't mind the worlds in Sonic Adventure 1 because every area was unique enough, and they were small enough you couldn't really get lost. Yeah, that's it, what I was saying earlier. It's like, they weren't gigantic. At the same <laughs> like, time, it did feel like just a lot of walking around for the sake of walking around, like fetch quests and things. Oh my god. Amy can fly! Whoa! I actually kind of liked the episode where Amy went on went on a, a fake date with Sam Speed. Just because <laughs> it was a roundabout way to, like, give Sonic some more development, weirdly enough. Yeah. Like, it gave Amy some context on their relationship. What am I doing? Oh, it's <laughs> a great delivery on that. I miss this actor so much, he was so good! <laughs> I'm sorry. This looks so beautiful. What? You mean this desert? Everything is so great here, isn't it? The sky is gorgeous and everyone's happy. This would work a little better if there were people here. Let's go! I'll help you find what you're looking for. He does! 
He's super such a nice boy. <laughs> Good boy, Silver. He, he's got something to do, like extremely important. He's like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll help you. If there's Silver anything strikes... I've got, it's time. Silver strikes me as a lawful good. Sonic is chaotic good, and Shadow is true neutral. I love Silver. I wish, I wish he wasn't so sidelined now. He's such Just a good boy. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? Iblis Trigger. <laughs> if that is your real name. <laughs> you can't. You can't be a good boy anymore, though. <laughs> People hate nice oh. boys. Look at look at their no. reaction to Deku. No. Why can't I lift them? They're just like, they're like pots with legs. They're submitting their place in reality. That's why you can't lift them. You have to knock them over first. Oh, that's death. Why? Why? There was Why? an arrow pointing down. <laughs> you fell for it. You I wanted to hear Iblis trigger you again. Fell for it, stupid. So, well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was playing Mario Maker. <laughs> I think those you're supposed to torches. throw the robots that's... down there. But I can't pick them up. Oh. See, so oh, you have to. Or not? I don't know. I just kill him. You can force. He does have the force. Basically. Or robots kill him. His his ability is cool. It's just not utilized in gameplay all that well. Why is Silver able to like be a psychic powerhouse? It's not explained. Why is Sonic can. super fast? Oh, it's I don't even. He's a Mobian mutant. I don't even know if the comics explain it. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. We ballin'? You have to get them in the hole. They're giant billiard balls, what the fuck? Ah, yes, my favorite ancient temple course. Oh, but you have to get them all in without them getting to zero and explode. Oh, okay. Wait, they're, oh, they're no. also bombs? No, we're already here! I forgot, we're already at this really bad level. Well, at least- no. what, Do all the desert levels just suck? I guess so. Oh, this is. What's the good. best? What's the best uh, desert level? In. No. So you have to get them all in. Or what? Or the they door won't open. You can't leave. Oh my god. They don't even hurt you. I thought you could just tank the damage and be like, okay. You have to be like super strategic about this. All right. Well, while he's doing that for the next thirty minutes, I'm gonna. Like, <laughs> <look up. laughs> Honestly, like the ending part of this level is so bad, I think we're better off doing a bridge where where you go through the door. Oh, you did it! Oh, thank God. Because there is a glitch where like you can just bypass a door to get to the end goal. I think it's this level. What is this surf rock? Yeah, this isn't very desert music, is it? <laughs> Oh! There we go. Oh no! Oh, this again. I, you know what? This will be better because you're not like, uh, you're not doing like janky ass, uh, uh, that, like, uh, homing attacks. You're just, uh, you're just doing like nice, uh, flying. I'm supposed to break the. Oh, I ran out of juice. Yeah, you were out of juice. You had to rest. You gotta rest up. Uh, <laughs> rest on the spikes. Fortunately, you're not a robot. Fortunately, you are not a robot, so. Well, I'm out of stuff to throw now, so. Now what? Slip late, and just then. Go. Just fly. Yeah, see? Yeah, we don't need to throw things. Let it charge. Violence. You... Violence is not always the answer, so. You don't. I tripped. I, was, I tripped. I, I was about. I was about to say you don't need to do that. Oh, I didn't need to hit the button. No, you, you don't, you don't, the don't need to don't fight need to the fight. robot. Well, <laughs> like, at least because this is the first instance of this in Silver Story. 
they were generous with the, uh, there's like a platform to save you at the end. Oh my god. I wish it reset as soon as you were on the ground. It's kind of tedious to just stop and wait. Well, it, it, it does, but you have to stand still. It's right, so it doesn't reset as soon as you're on the ground. It takes a couple seconds. Yeah. That's, that's annoying. That was always the issue with uh, other Sonic characters in Sonic games, is that they have to be fast. Leave this to me. What what are your special powers, Amy? She can jump. Okay, she does double jump, like Blaze. She actually jumps very high. She also, I think she can use her Pico Hammer. I think she can do that tornado thing from Sonic Heroes. Speed? There's actually, considering how this ends up, there's no reason for us to be here. At all. Really? There's literally no reason. I sorry, don't what? what happens. I'm sorry, why can what? she just do this? What? She's Espio now! This is amazing! I... Why wouldn't I want I... to be discovered? Oh, I can attack while invisible? Yo, that's busted! <laughs> Please nerf. Is Are we gonna get an explanation for why she can do this? No. Uh, no. No, you're not. Why, why would you get an explanation? <laughs> also, am I being instructed by Eggman? No, that's the king of Soliana. Oh. The, the dead right, king what, who sucks at everything. Oh my god! I don't need stealth, I'm a Mobian. Still don't know her. Bye. Oh. <laughs> it's just shooting the wall. But the hammer thing was originally a, like a joke. It was a, it was a gag weapon. Yeah, but now it's like a, I guess a series of like making it the center point of her character when it's just a goofy anime trope. It's kind of kind oh of a my... point. I'm remembering when in Sonic X, when she, like, threw, like, 16 of them at Eggman's ship, which is, like, thousands of feet in the air, with extreme precision. <laughs> Ataru did that with one hammer, an ordinary fucking hammer, and made a helicopter that's, explode. That's pretty funny. Like, the, her first hit was, like, almost hitting the windshield of his ship. That was in the episode where Sonic fought Knuckles, right? No, that was the one where, like, she, uh, it was, like, I think the season two finale-ish? I don't remember. One of the final two episodes of season two, where it was, was the like, tournament? oh, she's, she's been, she's been waiting for Sonic to come back, but because of Chris, he didn't come back right away. Uh, so Eggman is, like, being a little nuisance, nuisance to everybody by making loud noises at night. So she world. just throws, yeah, so she just throws her hammer at him, even though he's thousands of feet in the air, and almost hits his cockpit. Somehow. <gasps> damn it. Like, oh, damn. Oh, oh. Hello, Mr. Phantom. Let's, he says, even though Amy's not here and What are buttons? What are what are buttons? I don't know. So how many unique levels are there in this game? Like total? Unique? We're basically just doing the same levels, but with different people. That's kind uh, of been true with a lot of this. Well, every Sonic game. Like, even on the Genesis, that was the thing for. You could play as Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles on the same levels. 
I do remember in Sonic Adventure there was one level that only Tails was able to access and use, which was the sand thing. No, uh, Eggman did it. Really? He had to. Yeah, that was his approach to his base. No, that's Adventure 2. I'm talking about Adventure 1. Okay. Where, like, he has to go look for Froggy and he can only access. He's the only one who can access, like, this desert area. And you can't play it with anybody else. It's it was a pretty random spot because it's in the middle of the Mystic Rift. So I don't know why that's even there. I remember Sonic had the optional sandboarding, but yeah, he never had a proper desert level. Yeah. Okay, so I can cross over here. I don't know if they're I don't think there is any like level where it's like, oh, this 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 is the only time that one specific person plays it in this game. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking, and I can't come up with any. I'm sure there probably is something I'm forgetting somewhere. This is history I'm destroying. Oh, those ones don't stay up. Oh, I didn't have enough juice. You're destroying history. Thank you. Oh, do I have to this is here? like a, a thousands year old tomb with architecture that you're just utterly obliterating. It's all gonna be gone soon anyway. There are archaeologists around here trying to find this breaking it. Uh, move, please. Sir, may you please uh, move? Oh. Yeah? What does he look like? He looks like a Mighty Gazelle from F-Zero, and probably someone else. Probably. Frames, please. All these... all these robot bad guys just look really weird. You should draw every single one of them. No! Absolutely not! Oh, this section's awful. Oh, great. Well, I can't wait to see Zelda get a second try. This is the last section of the level, and it's pretty hard. We golfing? It's, it's, yeah, it's genuinely... I mean, I'm sure you're gonna get in, in like, what, three tries and prove me wrong again. <laughs> oh. So where's the hole going to be? There's a glitch where you can just bypass this door and get to the end without doing any of that. How difficult is it? Uh, not too difficult, I don't think. I have to look up how you do it, though. Oh, I didn't pause the video. Whoops. Sonic Speed! I guess Silver's thing isn't necessarily speed. Want to? You just clip through the door like most help ears. I, I, I tried briefly. Oh god! Again, I'm if he tries and he does it badly, then he might actually clip into the void and then and then uh, kill himself, and that that'll be a problem. He'll lose one life. Oh, how far back will he get? Be sent? Oh, just to there. Okay, you can reset now. It clearly went in the hole. I have to wait for it to count down in real time. Okay, I know how to do the glitch if this is- if 
if we get to the point where this is Im too impossible to get through. Wait, why did it? Okay, no, it didn't. I thought it counted up again. Well, let's see. If, let's see if Sora can do this at least. Nope. This is worse than uh, than no? Sonic. Uh... You want to try to cheese it? I'll go for it. Sure. You have to grab a box with your telekinesis first. Oh, I see what you're going to do. I get yeah, it. Yeah, you have to push it, put it in the middle of the door, and then lift yourself up, and then walk right into the thing. No, oh. It's a little finicky. Yeah, I you threw have to it by it. mistake. You have to be careful. There we go. You have to stand on the box. Now levitate yourself up while okay, on the box. Okay, so it's like the top of the door. Yeah. No, you have to levitate yourself up on the box. You have to use the box and then push yourself up, I think, is what she's saying. Yeah. Where well, am I aiming, do though? It. Am I going in the right the place? Door. The middle of the door is where it looks like it's supposed to break. So you gotta, like, do that and then, and then hold to the yep. door, I guess? Yeah, and then walk into it. Yeah, there. Oh. It was working. See, it was kind of working. I s <laughs> I've done this before, so it does work. This will work even better. You have to- oh. <laughs> Close. Come on. Uh I don't know if I, because everyone apparently does it this way. I'd probably feel more accomplished if I did it the normal way. Oh, too late now. Oh, there, oh. GG's. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck this section. <laughs> I will never defend that one. Never. Look at his joke. Thank bows God for that. As he floats. Thank God for that door glitch. Otherwise, this would be a nightmare. Speedrunner tech. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anything that makes this game end sooner. <laughs> That's the only glitch I know of, though, to get past the door, so... Good so luck how long... Run out. <laughs> is there a level to the final story? Because these games always have a final story. Yeah, there's a there's a final story. There's but a final story. Is there a level, there's... or is it just the boss? Um, there's there's... Like, you have to play as every character, except for Blade. Uh... And then there's the two-phase final boss after all that. Okay. So it's like, like Sonic Adventure 2, where you have the big level that goes through every character? Yeah, except yeah. you're collecting Chaos Emeralds? Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, why are we out of the... We were in the desert, and now we're here again. What the fuck? Quick, we gotta get out of here. That's my, that's my girlfriend. It's no use! Why? You, we were here, we went to the desert, and now we're here again. Why? He was that so was chill around funny. Amy. I think the only point of that was the scene where he's like, Oh, look at this desert, this is so pretty, isn't it? And Amy's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But they could have done that anywhere else. <laughs> you know? It doesn't look like you're here to talk. No, I'm here to have a great conversation, buddy. Do you think Sonic ever gets a cramp? Probably. You think he gets a Charlie horse? That'd be kind of sad. I was, Sonic <laughs> with a bro with a cast and a broken He's already, leg. He gets a cramp and then he careens through five platforms. <laughs> So I'm guessing this will be easier than the fight against Silver was. No, it's just as bullshit. He just attacks you wherever he wants. And we have no have defense because we can't. Uh... You have to grab him and smack him when he's on the. Or do that. Here I come. Here I come. What do you mean, smack him? Yeah, you can't dodge that. It's not possible. Here I come. Actually, I'm sorry, what are you doing, Sonic? Can you tell me again? <laughs> oh, smack him as in smack him with stuff. Yeah, or also throw. with furniture like in Spider Man. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that hurt. Owie. 
I have a boo boo now. Why are you saying this was hard? <laughs> well, the way he attacks you is bullshit because you can't dodge it. You have to you have to just counter attack him while he's up there going just here. Keep right attacking. Down. It's not like Silver where you can avoid him no matter what he does. No. Sonic well, the counter just, is to just keep attacking him. Silver, you should be on the floor by now. That was easy. Did the chairs just spawn in while the victory screen is going? I don't know. I was distracted by... That was easy! That was <laughs> easy. A Man, psychic... you stuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is a pretty tough game to play if you don't know. It's just that it's different from how you usually approach those kinds of Sonic bosses. Because until now, you've always countered with, you know, a jump or a spin dash or something. In my opinion, this is the best Sonic game ever. Hello, <laughs> base department. How could someone like you cause the destruction of our world? What do you mean? It doesn't matter. For the sake of the future, the ablest trigger must be destroyed. Ah! Oh, Ablest trigger sounds like a weird super mode. Don't you dare turn your back on me! If there is one thing I don't like about this, even though most of Silver's campaign is fine, it's that he refuses to acknowledge at least at all. Yeah. Who is that woman? Like, I don't know. Like, he'll help out Amy trying to find something. He doesn't give a shit about a random woman getting kidnapped right in front of him. And Amy herself was only just a plot device so that he would stop the attack there. Which itself was not very fleshed out. He had one scene with her in the desert. Yeah. It's not great. I don't like how they use Amy. Not good. Oh. The same can be said for most female the oh, characters in the games. Also because she's arguably just Sonic book girl. So I'm watching a Yu Yu Hakusho with Illa talks, and one of her <laughs> one of her big complaints is with Keiko, who she just hates and wants to go away and not be in the series. Yeah, Keiko doesn't really do anything though. She like, doesn't. No, she's, she's a problem, like a lot of characters. She's just kind of flavor, but she doesn't do anything, and she's used very often as just a motivation for Yusuke, like she gets kidnapped or something. Yeah. She also doesn't like the cutaways with Koenma and the Ogre. Okay. I thought they were fun. Like, of all series, ate... it's weird to complain about Yu Yu Hakusho having too much filler because it hardly has any. It's a pretty, find... uh, it's pretty lean series. I find Hiei being into Yusuke more believable than Keiko being into him. I think they're cute together. I, li I like canon functional anime couples. Yeah, they. It's not like Chi Chi and Goku. No, no, Chi Chi no is the like same Chi -Chi voice actress Goku. as Botan, and it. I, I, I. It's hard for me because I like Botan. Oh, see, so you, you know what's weird? The first, first pass, uh, Funimation and Ocean, like uh, Dende had like a different voice actor. Yeah. But then they changed uh, Dende's voice act. To a voice actress, and it's the same as uh, Keiko from Yu Yu Hakusho. I didn't remember that it wasn't Laura Bailey in the first Funimation dub. Yeah, because I I heard it, and then I'm like, what the fuck? Why why does did they sound adorable? So I am paying attention to this cutscene, and Blaze is like, yeah, kill him. No, it's the only no. way to save the future. No, that's not what she's saying. We have to do. What we have to do. No, she's saying that like nothing's gonna change. <laughs> She said nothing's thing. gonna change even if they did kill him? No, nothing's gonna change if they do nothing. So they right, have to and do well, that came after Silver asked, do you think it's right to kill someone to save the world? And she's and like, she well, said, we have to do something! Yeah, she said, well, she says she doesn't know if it's right or wrong. We have to Which do something. Which is a way of saying that, yeah, if that's your idea, then do it. Alright, are we done? Uh, are we? I, let me check how what our percentage is at. I'm worried that we're going to start a level that's going to turn into one of those chains of like 10 levels that this game yeah. loves so much. 
I can check. Oh, I closed the video, so I fucking... Uh, 40%. Okay, next stream might do it. So we got about 50% done this stream. We got 30% shadow and 20% of uh, silver. Uh, if you go to a level right now, there's a boss and then two cutscenes. Now let's end it now. Like, yeah, Jack, think Jack sounds time. done. Yeah. Yeah. But next stream will end it though, I think. I hope It'll so. have to be longer than this one, I think. We would need like three hours to do Probably. the rest of Silver and the final story. Yeah. So uh, we'll 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 see what we can manage. That's it for today. Thanks for thanks for joining me, guys. Even if you Bye, don't know everybody. what you're talking about with King Crimson. Bye. <laughs>